Russian military changes tactics to prevent its Ka-52 alligators from being chopped off in Ukraine war. The Russian aerospace forces have modified their combat tactic in response to losing multiple attack helicopters, including the Kamuv Ka-52, in the ongoing Ukraine war. Russia has lost almost 287 helicopters, and Ukrainian air defenses have reportedly obliterated one-eighth of the Russian combat chopper fleet. The first modification in the combat tactic is reducing the penetration distance, and flying along the front line to hit Ukrainian targets with unguided or guided missiles. The second modification is providing more robust support against Ukrainian drone strikes and artillery barrages, and fortifying the forward bases. The third modification is shifting to using helicopter cells within the same mission to provide combat capabilities if one helicopter in the cell does not have a specific combat capability. The modifications come after the unexpected combat loss of attack helicopters, and the Ka-52 fleet has been used more than other Russian gunships. Russia has lost at least 31 of the Ka-52 helicopters in Ukraine, or a fourth of the fleet of 140 to 141 K-52 helicopters the VKS had in its inventory before the invasion. The change in combat tactics comes when Russia is believed to have deployed several fighter jets and attack helicopters along the border with Ukraine, sparking fears of an imminent aerial raid to mark the first anniversary of the invasion. Ka-52 Alligator in the early 1980s, while comparative tests of the V-80, Ka-50 prototype, and the Mi-28 were being conducted, the Kamuv design team came up with a proposal to develop a dedicated helicopter to conduct battlefield reconnaissance, provide target designation, support and coordinate group attack helicopter operations based on the Ka-60. However, the economic hardships that hit the nation in the late 1980s hampered this new development program. This prompted Kamuv's designer general to choose a modified version of Ka-50 on which to install the reconnaissance and target designation system. The modified Black Shark required a second crew member to operate the Optronics or radar reconnaissance suite. Kamuv decided to use side-by-side -side seating arrangement due to the verified improvements in cooperation between the crew members. This twin-seat version was designated Ka-52. In comparison to the original Ka-50, it has a softer nose profile and a radar system with two antennas, mast mounted for aerial targets and nose mounted for ground targets. Day and night TV a thermal sighting system in two spherical turrets, one over the cockpit and the second under the nose, are also fitted. The Ka-52 has the side-mounted cannon of the original Ka-50. It features six wing-mounted hardpoints compared to four on the Ka-50. To keep the weight and performance on par with that of the Ka-50, the armor and the capacity of the cannon magazine if feed were reduced. Also some flight parameters deteriorated, rate of climb dropped from 10 to 8 meters per second and maximum positive load factor became 3.0 g. Most of the problems were solved by installing the new VK-2500 engine. The Ka-52 is approved for day, night and adverse weather conditions. Manufacturing of the first Ka-52 airframe began in mid-1996. Series production was started in autumn 2008. As of September 2010, the 696th Instructor and Research Helicopter Regiment, based at Torshok Air Base, is operating eight helicopters, in varying degrees of capability and or modification, for research and development. In December 2010, four new, series production Ka-52s were delivered to the air base of the 344th Center for Combat Training and Aircrew Conversion. The first phase of the official tests was completed in December 2008 and after that permission was given for the production of an experimental batch for Phase 2. Serial production of the Ka-52 began at the Progress Arsnyad Aviation Company plant in Arsnyad, Primorsky Krai by end of the 2008. After the completion of the state trials, the Ka-52 entered service in May 2011 with first operational units joining the Russian Air Force the same month. Under previous state defense procurement plans, the Russian Armed Forces was to receive two experimental and 24 serial Ka-52s by 2012. The second long-term contract signed in 2011 worth 120 billion rubles is to provide the Russian Air Force, with 146 Ka-52 helicopters in total until 2020. In February 2018, 
the Russian Ministry of Defense expressed an interest to purchase 114 Ka 50s of a new version within the new state armament program for 2018 to 2027.